welcome to today's video. I am in a new location, my living room. <laughs> I can't even explain to you how crazy our house is right now. It's just absolutely covered in wedding stuff and birthday stuff. Yes, those are my birthday cards and birthday banners and birthday balloons. And yes, it's been like a month since my birthday, but they're still going strong. So I'm not gonna get rid of them. Look how cute they are. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> So that's why I'm here anyway. <laughs> I am here today with a haul from a brand called Never Fully Dress. Bought this all myself. Um, I love their stuff. I own a dress, or two dresses, <laughs> and a like jumper cardigan thing. And I think their quality is really nice. I love their use of colour and patterns. And um, I actually followed them for years and years and years. And then they finally extended their sizing, uh, which made me really happy. So that's when I started buying from them. Oh my God, Cleo, are you quite sure? I've got bare legs and she just absolutely just threw herself on them. You've got sharp claws, Missy. Did you know that? And I clipped them like not that long ago. So I'm confused. Why are they so sharp? Well, come here then. Come here then. Sit nicely. Sit nicely. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, um, but a lot of their new stuff I'm just obsessed with. And I had actually asked for their stuff for my birthday, um, but everyone had already got me stuff and had already known what they wanted to get me. So I got myself it. Because that's what we do in this house, don't we? Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Why is this cat so sweet? Um, yeah, so I've got a big haul. Um, it's all dresses. Um, I just have been wanting to live in midi dresses. They're my favorite um, because I'm a bigger girl and also because just my whole life I've had a big ass. So um, shorter dresses like without anything underneath are not so great for me and I'm tall. So um, I just, I feel like I don't have as much free freedom to move around without flashing anyone uh, where midi dresses I feel safe and comfy in those um so a lot of them are those and I'm gonna have to put my cat down now she's not gonna be happy about it can you hear her purring <laughs> the cutest thing I love her so much right get down then good girl good girl so I haven't even unbagged any of this stuff I won't say unbox because didn't come in a box but I haven't taken any of it out of its bags or anything yet sorry if it's annoying that I keep shifting you around but I can't like I'm so not used to I've never in my life filmed here and I'm not used to it so everything is bugging me <laughs> first up is this dress and it's really funny because I I'm obsessed with everything gingham always have been and now that there's this like craze of gingham I couldn't be happier because gingham and pastels are just my life but also just red classic red and white like picnic blanket vibe gingham I'm obsessed with so yeah um everywhere's doing gingham I love it but I fell in love with the only short dress of this haul um and I was like do I need that and this but I think I thought they were different enough and I was like I'll get them both because what if I don't like the fit of one um and I'm glad I did because it is so beautiful like uh, the colors the print I'm obsessed um I did have to get a smaller size than I would want for this. So just a disclaimer, I've never really talked about this. I did actually, I put this in one of my ASOS hauls, but I normally put it in the description. First of all, uh, I don't tell people what my size is. Uh, it's got absolutely nothing to do with uh, being ashamed of my size or anything like that. Um, I actually think sizes are just totally bullshit and I, ha my entire life, have just bought clothes that fit. I never really cared about being a size or what size I was, um, but, uh, when I used to do hauls and I used to talk about what size I was or what size I bought things in, I just got inundated constantly with you're bigger than that or there's no way you're that size because I'm that size and you look smaller than me or you're pretending that you got a size small and all this shit that I just don't need to hear um, and I don't need to subject myself to and honestly it's happened every single time I've ever done that. Um, people just overanalyzing my size, my weight, my dress size and I just, why would I subject myself that, to that? And also, if you don't know and you're new here, hi, I have a history of eating disorders. So um, that 
was very bad for my health uh so i stopped doing it so but what i do do is talk about whether i got my size whether i needed to size up whether i was okay with sizing down because then that's enough information for you to go and buy your size or a size up or a size down um yeah i just don't need people over analyzing my dress size i think it's um bizarre and i don't think i need to do it and yeah and the other thing is um i am disabled and a big part of my disability is problems with my hands um i do youtube for fun and just as a hobby because it's something i enjoy um it's not my job and because of my disability i do as much as i can and one of the things that i had to let go of and stop doing in order to be able to carry on making videos at all was not linking everything in my description so i'm sorry things won't be linked in the description. I can tell you the, des the description that comes on the dress though. So this dress is called the multi gingham tiered dress and I did have to get a size smaller than I would want, although it looks quite roomy, which has got me very excited. It's normally the, this might just fit. The thing is, I um, have a very big bust. I'm a G cup. Um, this is so beautiful, look at it. Mm, and the dress and the jumper that I have from them, I just got in my normal size, um, and they are a tad tight around my boobs, but not enough that I would want to size up. Like, I think it fits fine, and I don't think it's that noticeable. It's just in comparison to other clothes. Uh, but that's a problem I have with every brand because of my big boobs. So, anyway, this has got lovely tears. Do these colours and this pattern not just give you absolute joy? Because they do for me, honestly. Actually, when I got this all out of the um, out of the bag, it was all in and put it on my bed yesterday. Seeing all the colours and patterns together, I was like, this is why I love clothes. <laughs> like, that whole thing about what sparks joy, this sparks joy for me. <laughs> Trash. <laughs> I love the colours. The fit is awful. Like, I can't, I can't do it up at all. Like, I, like not even slightly going to pretend I could do it up. Like... It's real bad. <sighs> Good. If they bought out, because I think a lot of these aren't out in plus sizes yet. The blue star one is, but I think maybe that's the only one. So if they bought them out in plus sizes, I'd consider like rebuying them and trying them, but this is bad. No, no, no. This dress. I got so excited when I saw this, I can't even tell you, because I've been obsessed with yellow. And in particular, yellow dresses. I don't really know where that came from. But since last spring, I've been obsessed with yellow dresses. And then I saw that this has pom-poms on it. So I had to have it. Um, <laughs> look at this. It's like a sun print. And it has pom-poms on it. Oh my god, I'm in love. I actually love this with my nails because it's a bit neon-y, which I don't think it looked this neon-y on the website, so just be aware of that. It is just just such nice quality, such nice fabrics and materials used. What sold this for me was that it ties up like a vesty dress and then there's pom-poms on the ties. That's the cutest little detail I've ever seen. I'm obsessed with it. Um, I got this in my usual size and look at it. It has tears as well and pom-poms all the way down it. It is, it is like a sundress, but it is so thick and like night, just good quality, I think. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to try that on. I'm so scared about this stuff fitting because I love it so much. Like I love it in, even in its bag. So I'm scared. Please pray for me that it all fits. <laughs> Obviously, excuse my black bra straps. <laughs> That's not how I would wear this. Um, I'm not sure about this and I'm gutted. I really, really love it. This is my size and this is the size that I've got everything else from them in the past. So I'm a bit confused because it's so, so small and like, I don't know, just clearly not meant for bigger bodies because where these are placed, it's super tight and also just in a very odd place for bigger bodies so i think i would need to get like three sizes up to have it look like how it's meant to look 
and how it looks on the model um which is such a shame i do really like it also it's a little bit itchy the material on my skin is a little bit irritating um which is weird but now i'm touching it yeah it feels like prickly <laughs> it's the only way i can describe it so i'm really not sure but i'm gutted because i really loved it this dress I've been obsessed with this dress since I first saw it on their website, which is a little while ago. Look at this print and colours. It's like stars and clouds. Yes. And the reason I didn't immediately purchase it was because the style, I was nervous about what my stomach and stuff would look like in it. And that has been something that I've been trying to fight off since last year. Uh, for a year now, I've been tackling, not caring that I've got a bit of a belly um, because... I never even when I was thin used to wear um because I was a size eight my whole life uh till I got ill and I never ever used to even wear tight stuff really then like very very rarely and most of the time I'd have to be drunk to like put it on and not care um but I've just always had this thing about like what just my my stomach being seen in clothes um so yeah I've been trying to overcome that because I think it's my last hurdle <laughs> to, like full body acceptance um because most of the time I'm there but it's just yeah I realized you know what that's something that I think I started analyzing why is it that I don't ever want to wear anything tight over my stomach it's fat phobia folks it just is so, um I've been trying to overcome that and I think this I, that's why I went and got this dress in the end because I was like no fuck that I should I should get it because I will probably look beautiful in it um, and this I actually sized up and this one is called the Blue Dreams Lindos dress um, and yeah oh my god sleeves they're like puffy and then elasticated and tight and oh my god just look at that there's buttons all down it I think there's leg splits at the front yes there is and it's just so silky soft luxurious beautiful <laughs> Um, I did undo the top button you'll see and so you can see my bra sorry about that um, but this is a dress that I feel like I need to style how I would wear it in order to decide to keep it or not but um, I love it it's super lovely to wear on your skin like silky soft sexy yeah I really do like it and I love blue on me um, and I love anything with stars on it at the moment. I have for like a year now. Uh, but yeah, so I do really like it. Really comfy, really easy to wear. Could be dressed up or down, but I think I need to style it up to see if I am going to keep it. But it's beautiful. And it's weird to me that this is the same size as the yellow dress. And that is so small. And neither are really uh, dresses that have got any give, material-wise. And yet this fits fine. It's bizarre. Okay, this dress is the short one I was talking about you know that's like it's just that it's brightly coloured and gingham um but it's very different in style to the first one which is why I went ahead and bought them both um, and this was the one that I really like gasped when I saw it online so I was like I have to have that uh, the description of this is rainbow gingham mini dress and I got this in actually a size down I think that was because it was my only option I don't think there was like a plus size version of this so I hope it fits, but look, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I had this exact dress when I was a kid and that is what it reminded me of and took me back to. It's got puff sleeves, it's short. I think it's gonna fit fine. I think it will, we'll see. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I had this exact dress when I was a kid and it was my favorite. That's why I wanted it so bad. <laughs> has me torn the colors and the print bring so much joy to me honestly it's like i'm a kid again but the fit and the 
model she's tiny um this sheared bit goes down to right down to her waist um and on me it's like halfway <laughs> across my boobs which then means that on her the dress looks way more like skatery style and on me it just kind of hangs it's really comfortable and easy to wear and again it's another thing that's like easy to chuck on feel cute in it's super light it would be lovely in summer but the fit's a bit disappointing so i'm not sure this is one of those things where i'll try it on again tomorrow and see how i feel because that normally clarifies things for me but yeah i don't know i thought this was going to be a surefire yes and now i'm not sure so that makes me sad and this this is the culprit this is the main culprit you know why because i've wanted this for ages and then it kept selling out and then i was on instagram and they posted my cat just lost her mind and they posted that it was back in stock and i went on the website to get this and because they'd said to look in the new inn, cheeky, and it worked because I ended up buying all this <laughs> because it was all in the new inn. Um, this dress is called Orange Swedish Flower mid axi Dress um, Curve. And I had to size up on this because all they had left. I actually went two sizes up, so I hope it's not too big. Um, but it's literally all they had and I wanted it for so long. It's got high neck. This is all like sheared, which is very in and I'm very excited about that because I was, I've been obsessed with sheared dresses and tops my whole life. Long sleeves and yeah, it's between a midi and a maxi, but look at the colours and the print. Yes. <laughs> yes 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 keeping a million percent i love like high ruffly necks actually the other dress i've got already from ne never fully dressed has that i love the color i love the sleeves i love the fit remember when you're looking at the fit that this is actually two sizes too big because uh, it's all i could order and i was desperate not to miss out but it means it's really comfy i just mean for reference if you're looking at sizing um but yeah oh my god it's beautiful so nice to wear and i'm already getting excited about styling it and that's how i know that i love something and i'm definitely gonna wear it loads okay and the last but not least i would have that as a wallpaper in my house like not even joking i really would let's rip this baby open yeah this is a maxi dress and i just was like for summer it's perfect i got my normal size it's called the groovy trapeze dress love that description it's just a little strappy midi a uh, strappy maxi summer dress look at those colors now yeah There's not that much detailing on it to actually show you, but I just thought it looked super comfy and cute. And with a t-shirt underneath or a little cardigan over the top, very me, so yeah. I think I will wear it a lot. I think, yeah, it's just it's so easy to just chuck on. And like, your legs are totally covered. Uh, ladies, if you're conscious about your chubby arms, fuck that. Let's get them out summer 2021. We've been locked away. Let's get out our chunky arms because who, who cares? Like, life's too short, right? Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I just love the colours. And I am already, again, imagining like ways that I'll style it and wear it and things I'll wear it to. And uh, the only thing is, because of the size of my arse, um, I'm getting like this gathering of fabric here. Can you see that? That's literally because it's a trapeze dress. And even though this is a plus size, 
uh, it's not made, they don't, it's just not been manufactured for a plus size body. It's made for someone that's straight up and down. So yeah, I'm getting a bit of gathering of material there, but I don't think it really bothers me. I don't think it's even that noticeable. I just love the colors and I find it super comfy and easy to wear. Because in summer when it gets too hot, especially because I have lupus so, and the sun affects my lupus, a lot of the time I just want to be able to have a cute outfit instantly without much effort, you know? If it's boiling hot, you just want to be able to throw something on and look put together and I feel like that's what this is, so... Yay! And that's it for this haul, so I hope you did enjoy it. What was your favourite item? Um, and yeah, please do like this video if you enjoyed it and please do subscribe. I'm trying so hard to hit 5,000 subscribers um, and I've obviously like massively slowed down growth wise because of my health and because of the wedding. I couldn't post regularly basically this whole year so far uh, so I'm really trying to get back into it and if you like hauls and fashion content and plus size fashion content beauty stuff, I just do a lot of different things actually, then I would love to have you here because I would love to hit 5k and um, yeah please do leave comments because I love chatting with you guys, I've made so many friends that way and it's so lovely especially because I am chronically ill, um, online friends mean a lot to me so yeah I'm gonna go, I hope you enjoyed this, I hope you're having a lovely day whatever you're doing and I will see you in the next video, bye!